Hello, welcome to 3D modeling for 3D printing. This is Terrence Kane, and in this lesson I'll be showing you how to separate and scale your armor files that you may have extracted from a video game or Pepicura and get them ready for 3D printing. So here is the model I modeled for the release for the Halo 4. This is not 100% accurate, so pretty much you're probably not going to be 3D printing this armor itself. But let's go ahead and take something small and basic. Well, no, everybody's going to want to know about the helmet, so let's go ahead and start with the helmet. So this is all one object right now, so we're going to need to separate this into different objects. My workflow is going to be different than other people, so if you know a better way, then I don't really want to hear about it. This is just the way I'm going to do it. Alright, you're going to tab into edit mode and select everything on one of the objects. You can, on my presets, is you just go ahead and hover your mouse over what you want to select and press L. Let's go ahead and undo that one. So all we want is the helmet. I've got that one selected. Go ahead and press A, invert the selection, and let's go ahead and delete everything else. So now we're stuck with the just the helmet. Well the dimensions on this helmet is 15 by 23 by 18. Now those are not inches, those are millimeters. Well, now nobody's head is 15 millimeters wide. So right here is the X direction, that is 15 millimeters wide. So let's go ahead and, and say for, you know, if you've got a big head, probably the average size helmet somebody's going to make is 300 millimeters tall. So that's 30 centimeters. So we want to keep that scale in the X and Y direction. So if we zoom out, then this is just a really stretched head, really skinny and stretch. Well, that's just not right. So let's go ahead and fix that. Copy paste, paste. Ooh. Well that looks really cool. Scale in the X direction. I can make a coin out of that. Nice little dimensions on that. But let's go ahead and apply that uh, uniform scale to it. Alright, so this helmet is probably about the size that we're going to need but it's not finished. This right here is not even paper. This is not as thick as paper. This is the ink that would be printed on the paper. Even ink has a mass. It has a Z dimension. has dimensions in X, Y, and Z, no matter how thin or thick it is. But that's not represented until you put it on paper, and the paper is how thick that we're uh, going to need something for Pepicura. So I'll go ahead and, and explain how to solidify in the next lesson. 